What's up everybody, Damon here with IGN News. Square Enix has asked developers to pitch ideas based on the Gex, Fear Effect, and Anachronox properties. The news comes via the Square Enix Collective, a platform started in 2013 to help developers find an audience for their current projects. As of today, developers can not only pitch original works, but also neglected Square properties. Gex is a platformer series starring an anthropomorphic gecko. Fear Effect was an action-adventure game released 15 years ago that saw one sequel, and Anachronox was a PC RPG released in 2001. Collective project lead Phil Elliott said, I'm excited to see what talented teams might do with any of Gex, Fear Effect, or Anachronox IPs. We'll monitor the response carefully before deciding which IPs to release next. And it goes without saying that we're delighted for the whole Goesha team as they become the latest member of the Collective family alongside Moonhunters and Black the Fall in hitting their funding targets. The Goesha Elliot speaks of is the recently funded point and click game from French developers Sushi. Goesha took to Kickstarter with the hopes of raising $30,000. As of writing, the Kickstarter currently stands at just over $31,000. The Collective notes that it's not necessarily looking for straight up sequels and wants to see what ideas people come up with. Once given the go-ahead, the idea then goes out to the Square community where users vote and offer feedback on the idea. After 28 days, voting closes and the Collective then makes a decision regarding whether to move forward with the project or not. If it gets the green light, it's on to crowdfunding. On the business side of things, Square takes 5% of the crowdfunding, providing the goal is met, and also gets the rights to distribute the game. Square takes a fee of 10% of the net sales revenue, and if you've used a Square IP, the company will also charge another 10% license fee. In short, if a developer created and released a new Gex game, for example, Square would claim 20% of the revenue. For all your gaming news, stay right here with IGN.